Hey guys, this is a review for A Northern Light by Jennifer Donnelly. Um, if you hear anything in the background, please excuse it. My nephew has um, friends over and they're very loud and obnoxious. So, um, this book was extremely good. It's one of my favorite ones now. Um, it's about a girl named Maddie and she's 16. And this took place in 1906. And this is based on a true story. And, um... Maddie uh, works on a farm with her um, father. Her mother died of breast cancer, and she has three sisters, um, Lou, Abby, and Beth, and her father, obviously. And so she, kind of being the eldest girl, had to take on the responsibilities of her mother that she left behind because she promised her mother that she would take care of her family. And it's a very good novel. She um, ends up getting a job at a hotel, and she meets Grace Brown, who shows up at the hotel and um, gives her some letters to burn. And they find her dead in the lake a day later. And um, it's up to Maddie now to figure out how she died. Um, and it's very good. It's like a murder mystery slash historical fiction, and I enjoyed it very much. It's a she is very obsessed with writing. She wants to go to school to become a writer, and her father doesn't believe in that. She he wants her to stay with the farm and be get married and become a housewife, and she just doesn't want to settle for that life. And she does meet a boy named Royal, and um, they court each other and until the end, and uh, she ends up um, deciding to go on her own, and she finds her own self, and she learns that she doesn't need a man, and she can be whatever she wants to be if she puts her mind to it. It's a very good coming-of-age novel. Um, I highly recommend it. Um... There was one other thing I wanted to say about this novel. Very well written. Very... Oh, yeah. Uh, she is so obsessed with writing, and she has such a fire about it that it makes you want to be better at what you want to do. Like, as I was reading this, I wanted to work on my fan fiction so bad, my Twilight fan fiction, because it was just so... She was so inspiring and so uplifting that you just want to, you know, do whatever you want to do just to make yourself better. And it was very good, and I highly, highly suggest it. Um, especially if you're coming of age, if you're around Maddie's age. Um, extremely good book. I highly, highly recommend it, and I really loved it. Um, A Northern Light is its new name. So I think it was originally written in the UK. I'm not sure. But I know that this wasn't the original title. So definitely Google it. I don't know if they have it on here. I think it's just... Yeah, I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's going to show. But anyway, very, very good book. Um... Exciting, and I can't believe it was based on a true story. I thought, I thought that was really cool. Not cool that she died, but, like, interesting. So, bottom line for this book, five stars. Highly recommend it. Amazing book. Amazing writing. Amazing characters. Amazing plot. There's a mixture of everything. Romance, excitement, mystery. Um, you just grow to just love Maddie, and you want the best for her. And I love those kind of books where I really relate to the character and really... Care for, end up caring for them like they were a real person. It's it's wonderful. So I highly recommend it. Okay, so I'm going to start. The next book I'm going to start reading is The Other Bowling Girl, and I'm very, very excited about that one. So I should have that done. It's a pretty thick book, so I'll probably have it done by Wednesday or Thursday, so that should have a review up then. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, and I also wanted to say thank you so, so much to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. I can't believe I'm already up to almost 60 subscribers. That's crazy to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And I so appreciate and I love hearing your comments and your recommendations. And I've grown to really care for every one of you. So thank you so much. 
and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.